Herzlich willkommen zu einem Let's Play der Play Family. Ich bin's Mundo und ich werde euch heute mein ähm, erstes Projekt vorstellen, das ich alleine mache. Und zwar ist das ähm, Quantum Conundrum. Und äh, ich möchte auch nicht viel Zeit verlieren und werde gleich mal anfangen. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now okay. you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Well, let's see here. If I configure the so, das ist wohl das Haus unseres Onkels und wir befinden uns hier gerade wahrscheinlich im Eingangsbereich. I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Mm -hmm. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Oh, oh oops. English. Anscheinend kann ich auch Sachen hochheben, ja. Okay. Oh, you confounded machine. Ah. Ja, das ist anscheinend äh, <lacht> ein Bild von unserem Onkel. Sieht ja sehr speziell aus, muss man schon mal sagen. Oh. 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 Wow. Das ist äh, jetzt mehr als scary, was ist jetzt los? Judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. <laughs> Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. It's natürlich eine ganz normale Tür in einem ganz normalen Haus hier. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Hmm. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Warum man den Strom wieder herstellen? Throw that switch there. Damit der Onkel mal nicht wieder rauskommen kann. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. 
What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. Haben wir die Mega Handschuhe in der Hand? If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Blauen Flügel. Ich stelle jetzt mal den blauen Rahmen als blauen Flügel. Fisher Michelson, one of the initial major investors in Quadrangle Industries. Ich habe mir falsch, falsch gedacht hier. Hm. Natürlich echt eine schöne Bude, die der hier hat. Ah, hier hinten. That is my second cousin Billy. Hm. Schade. Ja, oder ich nehme einfach den Knopf wieder hier, ne? Also. Haben wir hier Vollendung 0%? Bin wir schon mal richtig weit hier? Okay. Müssen wir wohl doch hier unten lang. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. I mean, visited. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts Schade. that it can be widened enough to travel through. Ich will den Hat ja wirklich hier interessante Sachen rumstehen. The glove Ice controls the genial. power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Oh, There's the hand the hand. glove you're wearing on the wall. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Hmm. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Ah, den kann ich mir mitnehmen. Dann setze ich den mal lieber hier hin. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Naja, ah <lacht> also, wenn ich das richtig verstanden habe, haben wir äh, so einen Handschuh, der über die Dimensionen zugreifen kann, aber wir haben noch nicht die volle Macht dazu, also this is such an ist es anscheinend momentan noch relativ nutzlos. Schade aber auch. Dimensional Shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is a fluffy dimension. In addition to fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Mhm. Was interessiert ihn? Ja, die fluffy Dimension gefällt mir jetzt schon. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Okay. Na, das hat aber Stil. Das ist immer eine schöne Dimension, weil es leichter wird. 
Bin mal gespannt, was es noch so alles gibt. Bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Dann komm schon auf Pik Nummer. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed and trying personality remain the same. Okay. Also, ich verändere mich anscheinend leider nicht. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Okay. An die Wand soll es stecken. Nur wo? Ah, hier oben. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Ja. Jetzt kann ich sie manuell steuern, die Zeiten. Schick! As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Okay. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To okay. you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Danke. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Zum Glück hat der Tresor nicht, nicht, nicht mich getroffen. Ups. Geh da rein. Mist! <lacht> Na gut, das habe ich. Wo ist denn der Tresor? Da haben wir einen, ja. Ich denke mal da drauf, ne? Oder auch nicht. Hm. Wozu ist das da hinten da? Vielleicht kommen wir ja später nochmal drauf zurück. Ja, oh, scheint nicht so ganz dicht zu sein. <lacht> These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. Well, that's what we need. Oh, das ist ja. Mist. Ging sie nicht hoch. Ah, da. Oh ja. Und weiter geht's. In den nächsten Raum. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. <lacht> naja. Da hat der Professor schon Angst, dass wir jetzt alles kaputt machen, wenn ich mal mein Glas zerstören darf. Aber bevor ich das zerstöre, sind wir auch schon leider am Ende des ersten Parts und da. Möchte ich euch noch sagen, auf Wiedersehen, bis zum nächsten Part, Leute.